Okay, so I have a question here coming from mathematics under functions to be specific composite functions. So, it's previous the tutor. <coughs> so it says given that f of x equal to 7x minus 4 and g of x equal to 2x um, you divided by x minus 3 where they are saying x is not equal to 3 so there's a reason why they are saying x is not equal to 3 because if x here is equal to 3 then you're going to have a 0 here and guess what this becomes what and defined so find g of 6 and g inverse of x also g of f of 2 so ladies and gentlemen let's dig in into this meal so first first of all let's start with a so g of 6 so g of 6 it means in the function of g here where there's x we put 6 so where there's x we put what 6 we have 12 you divide by what 3 to give us what 4 done B G inverse of X. So how do we find the inverse of X? Here is what no there are two ways of finding the inverse of whichever is, is, is okay for you. So I'll give you two of them. So I'll put the first one here. Where so this is we're finding for G, where there is G of X, there we put Y equal to T X over X minus three. This method allows you to cross multiply where we have y then x minus what 3 equal to 2x. You expand here, you get y x minus 3y equal to 2s <coughs> 2x. So your main interest here is to fact to get what where there's x you group them together. Okay? So y x minus 2x equal to positive y t 3 let me write this one properly positive 3y then we are going to factorize you take out the x so take out the x equal to 3 what 3y and this will take you to where this will take you to you divide throughout here by y minus 2 in here by y minus 2 so you discover that your x is just equal to 3y, you divide by what? y minus 2. Now the inverse itself, where there's y, you replace x now, it should be this, you divide by what? x minus 2. This is the inverse. That's the first method. I hope you've seen what you, how it has come up. <coughs> Well, the second method is what I like to use myself because I know there's no one way of solving a mathematical problem. Well, the second the second method is you, you, you do the same. You introduce y there. So after introducing y, you swap. Where there's x, you put y. And where there's y, you put x. So where there's y we put x where there's x you put y then you cross multiply you have x y minus 3 equal to 2y expand this you get x y minus 3x equal to 2y and you are going to group x alone okay <coughs> you are grouping what in sorry y here you are grouping y so x y minus 2 y is equal to 3 what 3 x this one you don't even have to substitute because everything you did at first so you have y you take it out minus 2 equal to 3 x so you divide throughout by x minus 2 the reason why i love this method is because some of you with the first method that, that, that i used you you forget to substitute but if you substitute in advance you just go direct and whatever you find is your inverse so y is equal to 3x 
over x minus 2. Dialect of the x are there. We don't have to substitute. So that is our inverse. Now, next is mm, g of f. So I'm going to erase this part. It's g of f of 2. Now, g of f is a composite type of function <coughs> which allows you first to find g of f of x, then later on find g of f of 2. All together, right? So let's first find g of f of x. Now, g of f of x, it means in the function of a, so in the function of g, just where there's x there, you put the function of f. So in the function of g, where there's x, you put f. Down. Where there's x, we put what? f. This is what it means by g of f. And this will simplify to 14 x minus 8 over 7 x minus 7 now this is g of f of x all right now g of f of 2 it means in this g of f of x where there's x we put what 2 so 14 then we put 2 there minus 8 over 7 2 minus what 7 this will give you 28 minus 8 over 14 minus 7. And g of f of 2 will just give us what? 20 by what? 7. Which you, which one, if you want, you can divide throughout and it gives you something like uh, a, a mixed fraction. This is no problem. Thank you.